Okay, so I'm about to felt the uh, felted slipper and uh, make it come out like this. So the secret to felting is to make sure that you have lots of agitation, hot water, and uh, soap. So I've got, uh, I've got my portable washing machine set up with some hot water and some detergent and I'm about to shrink this giant monster slipper into something that looks more like this. All right, so step one, I'll put it in the washing machine and I'm going to set the timer. Can you pull the lid off again? Sure. That's cool. So this washing machine changes agitation. Mm. All right, and we'll come back and see what it looks like in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's time to check the slippers. Uh, they'll probably need more time, but uh, let's have a look and see what, what they look like now. So come on, let's have a look inside the bucket here. Okay. So after 15 minutes, it's, uh, it's felted a little bit. You can see that some stitches are closed up and good to go and some stitches are still kind of visible but uh, more importantly this slipper is not small enough yet to fit my foot so I'm going to put it back in for another 12 minutes and see how it comes out then I might add a little bit more soap too because my soap is uh, decreased in volume here one go okay let's see if let's see how these felted slippers are doing. Oh, I think this is looking pretty good. So again, what I'm looking for when I take it out of the washing machine is just that the stitches are felted. You know, you may still see some of the stitch definition. That's okay. Just as long as you, um, as it looks like a fairly thick fabric. So I'm going to take it out of the washing machine and my next trick to get these to really, um, felt is to rinse them in cold water. So I'm just going to take it over to the sink here and the cold water will kind of set the slippers into their, um, just shock the wool into felting nicely. Okay, I'm going to squish out all the water. I'm going to roll it up in a towel to get all the excess water out and then I'm going to shape it. Okay, so I rolled up my slipper in a towel and I'm just squishing out all the excess water because the less water that's in here, the faster it'll dry. My other trick sometimes is to set the slipper down on top of the heat register in my house and kind of let the uh, hot air from the furnace um, dry it. Okay, so now it's been squished flat. It's got these lines in it and I want to get rid of those. So I'm going to pull on it to shape the fabric in the way that I want it to dry. Okay, so I want to get rid of that line that's in there. So I'm stretching that out. And in here, if you find any areas that didn't felt enough, you can always go back and just with water and soap, rub it like this to felt it additionally in some place. So sometimes in your washing machine you might end up with a fold and then you get some unfelted areas in here so you can felt them by hand afterwards. Sometimes I'll even put this on my foot just to make sure that it's fitting me properly but what I'm doing here is just shaping everything. I'm going to shape that to sew it down later. I'm going to just shape the toe to kind of get it exactly the way that I want it and then I'm just going to let it dry.